in high definition. It's about time, your time. Fox 11 Tucson Now Daybreak. Well, your Fox 11 time now going on 8 o'clock this morning. That's right. Coming up in our next hour, yeah, our tech expert Andy Taylor joining us to show us some of the latest products you might want to pick up. We're talking digital photography this morning. <laughs> You're watching Fox 11 Tucson Now Daybreak, your only local newscast from 7 to 9. We'll be right back with all that and more. Well, we are joined this morning by Andy Taylor, our local tech expert. And Andy, we are talking digital photography. Where do we even begin? I'll tell you, there's so many options, and, and I've got a real passion for this now. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I know some great photographers out there that take great photos with regular, traditional film cameras. But the capabilities we have now with digital is just amazing. You can do so much more. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, right now, you could, if you see something happening and you want to take a picture, you pull out your cell phone. Absolutely. You take a picture. Of course. Take a selfie. We were just <laughs> taking selfies a second ago, of course. <laughs> but, you know, now it goes beyond that. Now you have these, you have these mini cameras. They've been around for a while. Oh, yeah. But as these other cameras have come down in prices, these big professional cameras, these ones are offering more features oh, okay. and taking even better pictures. Yeah. Now, it is the photographer that takes the picture. That's what makes a good picture. So no matter what you say, whether it's the Canon <laughs> 7D or the T3, it is the photographer. You're exactly. learning about composition and everything else. But these new little cameras, this is the Canon PowerShot. Okay. Uh, this camera is the kind of the newest in the line. Uh, they have some other ones that are uh, introductory now that come out, and you'll see them priced from $25, not made by Canon. Yeah. Uh, that give the kids a chance to take pictures, but these are great for, for families. This is the SX170IS. And what this offers, this offers 16 megapixels wow. for you to be able to take your pictures, 32 zoom. And I mean, you can tell with the lens on this thing how, how much they've improved the, these They cameras. have, and this lens also offers an optical zoom. Now, an optical zoom is always going to be better than a digital zoom. Okay. And that's what it offers here. Now, you can do a, a 16 times optical zoom and then a 32 times digital zoom which oh, wow. means it digitally zooms in to give you that that picture and pulls in those pixels which in a way you don't get the best picture when you do a digital zoom but you have that capability gotcha. you're really trying to capture something but, but this is more for, is this more for the amateur photographer here? This is for somebody who wants to have the capability to be able to go out and take some good pictures, okay. and it really does. And for $179, this camera really delivers. And it'll last for you. And, and it will. You could take with one battery charge, and they've gotten rid of the AA batteries. Now, oh, okay. the, the downside to that means that if you lose your charge... You have to wait till you recharge. He uses a lithium battery gotcha. recharger, so you have to find a place to plug in. Okay. That's the only downside. However, in most cases, for most battery systems, I'll go ahead and order two of them, so I always have a backup. Always have a spare. Exactly. Gotcha. And with this, you'll get about 300 shots before you need to recharge. Okay. And we're also talking, a lot of people have heard about GoPros. Who are the GoPros for? GoPros are for anybody that likes action, that wants to have the capability of having something small, easy to use, can be controlled by Wi-Fi in mm -hmm. many cases, and uh, again, to be able to put it on your bike, your kayak, your car, uh, just about anywhere. These GoPros are really changing the face of the what we can do out on the field with your with your cameras. Pretty cool. And then and then you've got the big Rebels. Uh, yep. My wife and I have one of the Rebels. It, the neat thing about these now, you can pretty much throw out your old video camera. You can have your nice still photography and your video camera all in one. High definition video in many cases. Uh, this is a Canon T3. Now I want to say to all my Nikon friends, Bob, uh, I'm talking <laughs> to Bob, uh, they make great cameras too. I happen to be a, a Canon guy, but the T3 does really great video. And the nice thing about these digital SLRs is you can interchange the lens. So if you have to, you can pull it off and put another lens on. Gotcha. Now remember in the old days, you wouldn't do that with a film camera no. in, a, in a, any room that you had light, but you can with these. And again, this is the 7D. This 7D is a very professional camera. Um, I actually use these for shooting a lot of commercials and for weddings and the whole bit, but these get 1920 by 1080 full high definition video. And we're talking pretty expensive here. If you're yeah. just the amateur photographer, maybe the $179 version. 
is Actually, the way to this go. This is great for having in your, your purse, uh, having in your pocket, takes great pictures. If you don't want to stick with what you get with this, you'll go a little farther with this, and you have settings on this so you can adjust. So you have full manual control of this camera, as well as 32 different settings for you to take better pictures. All right, Andy, thank you very much. We're coming right back here on Daybreak. It is 818.